knows I am so not interested in your problems hanging on to Holden. I'm not just thinking about myself, okay? It would be better for everybody if Lily chose you. Yeah, well, Lily doesn't see it that way. You think you're doing her a favor, huh? Holden and Lily get back together again. Two, three years down the road, Lily realizes that she settled for something. Again. And she starts thinking about that sweet Australian guy that she was crazy in love with, and she let him walk off into the sunset because she was afraid. Look, Lily has made up her mind. So is Holden. He... He's happier with me. <laughs> yeah, sure, if that's what you want to believe. I got proof. What are you talking about? Right here. This is a letter that Holden wrote to me. Last summer, when he thought I was Lily. Right here. Look at it. In black and white. How our life together was better than before Lily left. How he loves the new me, and he's fallen in love all over again. Right there. Lily can't see this. I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to see her make some decision, some stupid decision based on some cockeyed idea of loyalty. Or I don't know what. It's going to mess up everything for all of us. You can change her mind. I know you can. What? Holden, what we have, Holden and I have, is magic. It's the kind of magic you have with Lily, and it's the jackpot, Simon. How many times in our life do we get to experience something like that? You and me and Holden and Lily, if we give up now, we may never have it again, okay? So make Lily choose you and we can all be happy. Didn't mean to jump all over you, Joe. <laughs> I had it coming. You're smart. To wait until you're sure that what you feel is right. I just don't want you to think that I'm taking Rose for a ride. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. When Rose and I got involved, I have to tell you, I really didn't think that there was any hope for Lily and me. I got no complaints about you. I think you're a stand-up guy. Now, yeah, well, if Abigail was in the same situation, I can't say I'd be as understanding. Well, Rose is, uh... Rose is like a force in nature. Her mother and I discovered that early on. We tried to balance between protecting her and letting her make her own mistakes. Maybe we didn't do such a great job. Rose is a wonderful person. Yeah. It's got a lot of love and a lot of laughs and, a, and the hardest head of anybody west of New Jersey. I, I warned her over and over about what could happen when Lily came back. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, it's Simon. Yeah? Ah, uh, look, man, I need to talk to you, but I've got to work. You think you could swing by Java Underground this morning? Uh, just wait one second. What, are you out of here? Think about what I said. I saw Lily last night. And I think there are some things you don't know. Tell me about Simon's high school sweetheart. The countess that got away. Or maybe a model that he swore to follow to the ends you of know, the You know, if Simon wanted you to know about his past liaisons, I'm sure he would have told you himself. He didn't tell you either, did he? Wow, and you were on an island mm -hmm. alone with him for eons. You don't know anything about his past? That's pretty pitiful. What do you want? What... What are you looking for? Why are you digging up information on Simon? What, the baby thing fell through, now you're trying to find another way to keep Simon in your life? Oh, no, no. If that's the kind of help I needed, I would not come to you. You hardly know how to keep a man. But you could write a how-to book on... house wrecking. You did wreck two marriages at once, you know. Mine and yours. But don't get any ideas that you had the soda can ring on your finger, and that gives you the right to play the injured wife. Just get a life. Katie, and stop trying mine on for size. Simon is my life. <laughs> no, no, he's an acquisition. He's a step on the ladder of success for Katie Peretti. Your career fell through, and now you're going the marriage route. I know how it works. Is the fact that I love Simon, that he might truly love me, so intimidating to you? I don't want you around anybody that I care about. Because you are a virus. You are a menace to anybody that comes in contact with you, and it's gonna stop. That's right, I am a menace to you. Because you're a wimp. You didn't love Holden or Simon enough to fight for them. Oh, you're right. Maybe that was the biggest mistake that I made. I stopped fighting. But thanks to you, I'm gonna start. No, no. Charlie, please, you have to listen to me. It's important. Hey, look, you know what? I'm not leaving until...
until you see me. There's no candle in the window, Jack. Harley, let me in. You stood me up. You told me you were going to end your marriage, and you left me here no, waiting I, for you. I Just go gonna away. I my marriage. I did everything I promised. Look, I told Julia that I... What? What did you tell Julia, Jack? Jack. Jack! Oh, that's very cute. What is that supposed to prove? I needed to see you. Well, see me. Look, take a nice long look, because that's all you're going to get. No. I'm not leaving till you hear me out. I was on my way to see you when Julia came home. Carly, she was in bad shape. Right. And of course, you couldn't tear yourself away from the needy Julia long enough to pick up the phone no, and no, call No, no, we me. said things. We said things. I said things. I told her I didn't love her. You did? Did you tell her you wanted a divorce? I wanted to. But she... Turned on the waterworks, huh? Just made it too difficult for you to think about breaking her heart. And meanwhile, you don't seem no, to mind no. stomping Carly, all over mine. Carly, it's a little more complicated just than that. Just get out no, now. No, do you think I wanted? Do you think I wanted to come here empty-handed, so we could have one more conversation about how sick Julia is and how I need you to bear with me? No, I know that's not what you want. Then why did you drop by, Jack? Because I was worried. I was worried that you grab Parker, you just take off with that money Lucinda gave you. I can't lose you, Carly. Not now. I don't need to leave town for you to lose me, Jack. Look. Are you finished? I would love to blink my eyes and have this all be over. But I gotta do this right. So you and Julia aren't, aren't, aren't hurt any more than I've already hurt you. Please, what is that supposed to mean? You don't want your marriage anymore, but, but, but you still have it. You don't want to hurt me anymore, but that's all you seem to do. Jack, I cannot believe a word you say anymore. Don't you get it? You told me you would be here. I waited for you, and you did not come. I know, I know. I wanted to be here more than anything. Obviously not. I need time. No, I need you. Today. I need you to make me more important than Julia, Jack. I need you to care that I'm bouncing off the walls in here because really that's all I'm doing. I need you to make a choice. And I need for it to be me. You promised me everything. And that's what I need, Jack, today. You got it. My marriage is over as of today. I will end it. And that's a promise. should try couples therapy with Dr. Michaels. Julia, uh, I we, we talked that about this. Yeah, but <laughs> the idea of committing myself is just... Jack, I'm not crazy. You know, what, what happened before? 
That will never, ever happen again, Jack. You're not here to save our marriage, Julia. You're here to get better. But how can I get better without you? You agreed to commit yourself for full-time care because you know you need help. Gee, I thought it was to avoid getting arrested by my husband who doesn't love me anymore. Would you rather explain your recent behavior to a judge? Good morning, Julia. I'm Jack. I'm Dr. Michaels, I'm, I'm reconsidering this whole thing. Julia. No, I mean it. I, I, I just feel that I, I rushed into this whole thing and I just need like, a couple of days to think about it and then, then I can come back. Oh, well, I understand you're anxious, but I really believe this will be a very good setting for you. Dr. Michaels, full-time commitment. That, that, that was Jack's idea, not mine. I'm here. What's this about? Hey, you want a drink? Get on with it. I don't enjoy being summoned by you, so whatever you have to say about my wife, out with it. All right, I saw Lily last night. There's no way that she and I have a future together. That's it? I thought that might mean something to you. I've already heard it all. But wait a minute. <laughs> she wants her life back, all right? With you and the kids. So she said. And what, you didn't believe her? I don't need to answer any questions from you. What, is, so you're not through punishing again, is that it? I don't need you telling me about my wife. Oh, yes, you do, man, you do. Because I am the only person that can swear on a stack of Bibles that your wife has done nothing to deserve this kind of punishment. <sighs> but you never believed her, did you? It's been months, and you still think that we slept together on that island. We didn't. What you saw, what you walked in on, that was as far as it got. Come on, man. She, she talked about you constantly, you and the kids. She wanted to go home. And every day she fought with everything in her to, to get back to her life. And then one day after months, she gave up. She gave up fighting it. And that's when you decided to turn up. She left me for you. <laughs> yeah, for a while. I guess she remembered what she really wanted. Look, this is for you. Isaac, no, you're giving away No, it was bought and paid for, okay? It's repaying the favor you did for me. Oh, when I showed up at the garage with that bottle of scotch, tried to warn you about Katie, I didn't do that for you. No. No, you did for Lily. So that she wouldn't be hurt again. Since I'm doing it for the same reason, consider this a reminder. I don't need it. There are no more Katie's in my life. Not anymore. Okay. So there's nothing and nobody stopping you from being with Lily. You live in town. Is that what it would take to convince you that it's over between Lily and me? I don't know. Lily wants you. She probably always has. The question is, do you want her? about this, Lily. You don't want to do anything rash. Oh, I do. Yes, I you do. can't just attack me in the middle of your yard. Oh, I can. Yes. Think I about can. this. You are a very respectable citizen. Think oh. about your children. Oh, no jury's going to convict me after everything you've done to me. I, when I married Simon, I did it to help him. I couldn't help it if I fell Oh, with him. whoops. <sighs> you have a very bad habit of falling in love with people. The problem is your objects of affection belong to others, but you don't care about that. Well, I do care about Simon a lot more than you do. You knew that he went to jail. But you didn't do anything to help him. Do you know how that made him feel? Do you know how much that hurt him? But no, you didn't care. You're off finding yourself. Do you know yourself. how much you hurt him by lying to him about being pregnant? No, I helped him with that. If I didn't lie about that, he'd be off to Canada with you, and you would eventually leave him for Holden, just like you've done right now. Yeah, Simon told me about your little chat, and you know what? He's glad to be rid of you. Simon didn't tell you anything. I saw Henry at the Java Underground. He's spying for you now. You know, how I found out doesn't change the facts. And the facts are that you pushed Simon into marrying me because you loved him so much that you couldn't live without him. Yeah, right, that was just a few months ago. Who's shallow, Lily? Who's selfish? Just get out of here. You know what your problem is, Lily? 
You're a cold fish. You have no passion in your life. You had two of the greatest guys in the world, and you lost them both. So, I'm sorry. You know, I might be a little impulsive at times, but at least I have a little fire left in me. Maybe you should try that. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should be a little more impulsive. you out. I'll let you know everything you need to know. You will? Yes. There is a woman in Simon's past. Yes, a woman that's going to ruin everything that you have with him. Who is it? Me. Are you changing your mind again? I thought you were going back to Holden. Oh, I am, if you will have me, yes. So what are you talking about? Henry should have stuck around to hear the rest of the conversation I had with Simon. I told him it was over. For good. Because I respect him. But I also told him I will do everything I can to get him free of you. All right, so let me get this straight. You told Simon that it was over for good, forever. That's right. Oh, this is great. This is fabulous. Don't count your chickens, Katie. Why not? You were the only reason that Simon wasn't committing to me. No, I'm the only reason you two were together. And it's over. You wish. No, see, there's no reason for Simon to stick around anymore. He doesn't have to stay in the country to be with me. You're not pregnant. So you have to face it. All your hooks to get the man are gone. We'll see about that. think that I'm going to spill my guts to you about anything that's going on between Lily and me? Fine. Fine. Get your plans to yourself. Just stop blaming Lily for all of this because you did your part. Yeah, I did. I listened to my wife. I wanted you out of that house, but instead I let her convince me to let you stay. If I hadn't done that, none of this would have yeah, happened Yeah, yeah, and there still place. would have been Katie down at the TV station. I never left Lily for Katie. No. But you're going to leave her for Rose? That's... It's none of your business. You want me to back off? Fine, I'll back off. You want me out of town? I'm a ghost. Oh, that's generous. That's very generous of you. Because I will do whatever it takes to make Lily happy. To see that she isn't hurt. Because, yeah, I do love her. And if you loved her, you would do the same thing. Not make the same mistake. Wake up, man. Your life, the life that you had with Lily, the life that you wanted back, it's right there for the taking. Thanks for this. Sure. You're back. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what did Holden say? So, what did you hear? What? Does he know I still have his letter? No. If you're setting me up, I swear I will I'll rip your heart out. <laughs> it's too late for that, Rose. It's already been done. Hal, can you do me a really huge, super duper favor? Can, um, can Parker spend the night with you tonight? Well, I can't tell you what's up because I don't want to jinx it. I can only tell you that it's good. And starting today, my life is going to turn around. I never wanted this. No, not any of it. Wait, what is this, Julia? Jack, when you called me, you said it was Julia's decision to commit herself but to the hospital. We came to this decision together, Doctor, and Julia knows that. But I didn't expect it to be like this. I can't stay here. If Julia's unhappy with the idea of full commitment, then um, we will 
just have to work out some sort of outpatient arrangement. That would be much, much better for me. Right, right. and when hell comes to arrest you for killing the horse, that would be better for you? Jail would be better than this? The only people who know about that are, are, are you and, and me and Dr. Michaels. And Dr. Michaels has to keep everything confidential, right? Yes. And you wouldn't turn me in, would you? No. I wouldn't. Okay. If you don't want to stay here, then I'll take you back to the house. <laughs> That's what I want, to go home with you. No, I won't be staying there, but I'll be glad to take you. I'm sorry, Doctor, that we took up all your time. I guess, um, I'm staying. Julia, this won't work if you feel you've been forced into something. No, 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 um, Jack's not forcing me. I just, I want to get well so that I can be a real wife again. Julia. You know what? We can discuss all of that later. Dr. Okay. Michaels? Yes. I have the commitment papers. Oh, thank you, Gina. Would you just go over them, please, with Mrs. Snyder? Certainly. Okay, and Julia, if you have any questions, Jack and I will be right outside, okay? She's acting like this is a total surprise. Like we haven't been talking about it for practically 48 hours straight. Tell me what happened. You know most of it. She ran away, she hitchhiked, and then some trucker picked her up and brought her back home. I... I don't know how to deal with her anymore. She said that she left because she was angry, right? And then when she gets back home, she wants to pick up like nothing ever happened. And you, and you don't want to do that. No. I don't love Julie anymore. I know that sounds blunt, but this marriage was a mistake, and both of us have known it for a very long time. When I tried to be honest with her, she didn't want to hear it. She just flew off the handle. And when she, she had barely calmed down before she admitted to killing the horse and stealing your prescription forms to do it. Well, it seems pretty clear now that the only reason Julia agreed to this course of treatment is that she is hoping to regain your love. No, that's not going to happen. Look, 98% of Julia's problem is our marriage. It's this pretense that's hurting her. And... It's my fault, and now I have to do something to make it right. And how do you propose to do that? By facing up to my true feelings and getting Julia the help she needs to face hers. She's got to learn how to live on her own again, Doctor. And stop trying to live out this lie, and that's why we have to end this marriage as soon as possible. I'm sorry. No, you can't do that. You can't expect me to keep on faking. Pretending to play the good husband when Julia already knows better? But that, that's what got us here in the first place. Oh, I understand that's part of it. Dr. But... Michaels. Look, Jack, I do not disagree with your assessment of the situation, but the timing you intend to use. I mean, abandoning Julia when she has just surrendered herself to a frightening, strange new environment, it could be catastrophic. Right. Okay, but you think living a lie would be better. Julie's here voluntarily. Now, she could... Check herself out this afternoon. She's perfectly within her rights to do that. But you and I both know that she has just acted out violently. And look at the deliberation she used to do it. Stealing prescription forms, duping pharmacists, even getting past a police guard. She carried out this act very carefully. And she seems to have executed it with little or no remorse. So you think if she gets out, she could do something worse? I think... She needs round-the-clock care, which she has agreed to. All right. All right, what are you asking me to do? Give me a couple of weeks to a work with her. A couple of weeks? I need that to build up her self-esteem so that she can handle this situation. She is losing the one thing that, in her estimation, defines who she is, her marriage. I can't. I can't. You can't give Julia two weeks. I can't. It's not just me anymore, Dr. You don't know. Well, I know that your life is not in the kind of danger your wife's is in. <sighs> okay. Two weeks. You sure? Nothing about the mind is predictable, but there is a good chance that after two weeks she will be stronger and better able to cope. So 
Oh, do you have any questions about the papers? No, I signed. I signed. I think this is going to be the best thing for me. I'm going to work really, really hard to become the woman you used to know. What are you coming down with? Well, what happened to you? Oh, I tried to pay a friendly visit to Lily Snyder. Yeah? Looks like you and Lily have a different definition of friendly. Yeah, well, I was trying to make amends, but that woman is a maniac. She went totally crazy and took the hose to me. <laughs> it's not funny. Believe me, it's funny. Come here. I can't believe you're still defending her, especially now. Look, you know Lily and I are over with. Oh, yeah, like you're so over it. Yeah, I have to be. That is the most wonderful thing that I've ever heard. We've really got to get you some sensitivity training, don't we? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that your feelings have been hurt. But life goes on. Now you and I can be a real couple. <laughs> I left a few casseroles in the freezer. Don't forget they're there. I won't. Oh, and um, you're going to have to pick up all the dry cleaning. The, the receipt is on the dresser. I know where it is. Would you do me a favor? Julia, I can't no, make any I just, I want you to hold on to these for me. I can't wear them in here, and I'm afraid I might lose them. Sure. Miss Snyder? <sighs> Everything's gonna work out. You'll see. See me, right? A life of wedded bliss with you? Why not? You're not going to be moping around here pining after Lily anymore. Besides, you were attracted to this. You can be again. Oh, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> you want to know something? After everything that you've done for me and to me, for that matter, I still think you're really sweet. But there is no you and me. But there can be, if you would just give it a chance. Why do you have to be so stubborn? Because I'm leaving Oakdale. What? Why? To go back to Australia? Oh, look, what I is didn't waiting say, for I you? didn't say where I was going. I just said that I'm getting out of here. You can't just run off, Simon. What about the INS? What about me? You know what's weird? In some sick, twisted kind of way, I'm really going to miss you in that trouble making you smile. Yeah? Well, this smile's not going anywhere. And neither are you, husband of mine. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. Hi, Jack. How soon can you be here? Just where do you see the party I'm gonna throw for you? <laughs> Parker's gonna stay over at house, and we have the whole apartment to ourselves. I have champagne. Carly. What's wrong, Jack? Things didn't go the way I... Go to hell, Jack! Why do I let him do this to me? Why? Why? Never again, Jack. Never again, Jack! Lily. Hi. I, I was just going to leave you a note. I was 
tried to call earlier and uh, there was no answer. What's wrong? I got a call from one of Luke's teachers. Oh. Well, well come on inside and tell me all about it. Planning on tying one on, Holden? Uh, gag gift. So, what did Miss Hopkins have to say? Well, I guess Luke has been having some problems on his first day back, and she wanted to talk to us. Well, do you want me to handle this, or do you want to handle it yourself? I don't think we have a choice. Miss Hopkins was pretty adamant about seeing both of us. Okay, so how do you want to handle this, then? I guess I can meet you there, later. No, you may as well just drive over together. Okay. That would be nice. I've missed you so much while we were away. I hope you don't think it was wrong of me to stay away with the children for so long. It was hard not seeing them, but I think they got a lot out of it. Luke especially. Saw things most kids his age don't get to see. It was important, I think, for the three of us to have all that time together one on one. It was available to them. We should probably get going. We don't want to be late. Right. Tomorrow, as the world turns... Let the games commence. ...when Lucinda is out to get you... We found a way to fix your father. She doesn't give up. If we can make him suffer, let's go for it. So no matter what Craig does... I will eviscerate you. ...what happens next... We're going down. ...could cost him everything. Survivor is back on CBS Thursday. Water polluted. That looks dirty. Yeah. That's because the river's so muddy. Food scarce. Fishing has not been good at all. The tribe has hit rock bottom. Life in the outback is getting tougher. But winning the ultimate challenge could land someone in paradise. If there's one reward to win, this one's it. <laughs> who will it be? And who will be voted off? We are going to sacrifice one of our Ogre Corps members. An all new Survivor, back on its regular night, CBS Thursday. CBS Sunday, he knows what to say. Nothing gives me more pleasure than to make you happy. He knows what to do. You bought me a TV? He knows everything a woman wants. Mr. Capano uses women as pawns. If you let him seduce you, he'll steal your heart. He's a good man. But if you leave him, he could take your life. Based on the true story. We're looking for a missing girl, Anne-Marie Fahey. Mark Harmon, Rachel Ward, and never let her go. CBS Sunday.